Hi everyone, so it's time for another monthly eco-friendly favorites video and let's jump right into it. My green product for this month is this stain stick from Bunch of Farmers and it basically is a solid like soap stick. It looks like this. The ingredients are really simple. It is made from coconut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, lintesa cubina oil, lemon essential oil, lye, water, and borax. And it works really well. I was actually surprised at how well this works. My sister-in-law recommended this to me. Like I mentioned before, caring for your clothes well is an important part of having a sustainable wardrobe. So being able to remove stains really improves the longevity of your clothes. Now, I will say though that I would not recommend using this on black or very dark colors. I used it in a small area on a dark gray tank I have, and it did leave a little bit of a white residue. So yeah, I would only recommend using this on medium or light colors and not on any black colors. I haven't tested it out though if it was just that fabric or all dark colors, but just something to be aware of. It's also a Canadian company and made in Canada. Next, the brand I wanna share with you is Christy Dawn, and they make really beautiful, timeless, vintage-inspired clothes completely out of dead stock fabric. So they have pretty limited styles and sizes because there obviously is limited fabric. Everything is made in LA, and like I've mentioned a lot of times before, I really like companies that reuse and use existing materials, especially when they make such beautiful clothes. Next, the film I want to share with you is not a documentary, it's a fictional film. It's called Okja, you can watch it on Netflix. It's about the meat industry, genetic modification, activism, animals, and even though it's fictional, it's based on a lot of issues that are part of the meat industry. I think whether you eat meat or not, we can probably agree that there is no reason for such cruel practices to happen in the meat industry. And I think this film really brings a lot of those things to light. And also some of the issues around activism. And I just thought it was a really good film. It was very emotional. It's also just a really sweet story about a girl and an animal. And I would really recommend watching it. So the thing I learned this month is a personal development growth kind of thing, which has to do with recognizing your weaknesses and faults and also being realistic about things. So I guess to give you guys some background, way back in the fall, I made a video where I was talking about how I wanted to focus more on this channel. It's been quite a long time now and the channel has grown, but I did not accomplish the goals that I wanted to accomplish. And that is difficult. It's difficult to kind of fail at something, but it's also been a really good learning experience. And especially reflecting back, I'm able to recognize a lot of areas that are my weaknesses and that I'm not good at. I've always created videos just because it's something that I am interested in and passionate about and care about and want to talk about. And I guess I very naively went into trying to grow this channel and focusing on it more like a business just with the idea that you know my passion was enough but getting into i guess the whole business side of things i realized there is so much that i have to learn and that i don't know if you want to really succeed at something like youtube you have to understand you know all these algorithms how to optimize your search engine stuff how to you know create content in a way that's really engaging and that draws people in and has good titles and good thumbnails and and that's just around YouTube too talking to other people that are doing really well through social media things and blog things you know they talk about how you have to always be posting content if you're on Instagram you should be posting new content every day with professional photographers or at least like really good quality photography and just all of those kinds of things that I guess are wrapped up into it and so I've been learning a lot and also recognizing where I need help. And I wanted to share this because I think it's important to just know that we all fail at things and we all have things that we're bad at and things that we need to work at. And just because something doesn't work out the way that you wanted it to doesn't mean that that's a bad idea or not something that you should be pursuing, but maybe you just need to reflect on it and change the way you're doing things or realize like what you need help with and assistance with. And finally, the YouTube channel I want to share with you is Exploring Alternatives. They have a channel about just different ways of living and different kinds of lifestyles and homes. 
and I think what they do is super fascinating. They both live out of a van, but they also share people's tiny homes and eco-friendly homes and just all kinds of different people and their lifestyles. So if you're interested in videos like that, I really recommend checking them out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this month's video. As always, I love hearing your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.